Hey all you travelers, today I'm gonna to show you a trick of how to get notified by email when flight prices change. If you're always searching for the cheapest flights and you wanna get notified by email when they change, Google Flights has the solution for you, so check it out. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Explorer, and if you are new to this channel, it is all about travel, exploring, and discovery, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Today we're gonna to show you a trick of how to get notified by email when flight prices change. So if you're like me, you're always trying to find the cheapest flights, but you wanna get notified by email if they do drop, well today, Google Flights has a nifty feature that'll do that for you. So let's head on over to my desktop and show you how this is done. All right, so go ahead and punch in Google Flights into your search engine, and it should be the first one that comes up here. It says flights-google. If you go ahead and click on that, the actual website is google.com backslash flights. And let's do a couple of flight searches here for an example. Let's go somewhere warm, let's say from Seattle to Miami. Everybody needs some palm trees. Let's uh, go for January when it's nice and snowy here. We'll go from the 8th to the 18th, just pick some random dates, click done. This is gonna bring up all the flights from Seattle to Miami for those dates. And at the top here, you can see it says best departing flights. But something I really do wanna show you here, right in the middle, there's this little tiny bar graph. It says prices are currently typical for your trip. And over here on the right, if I click on the details, it's gonna bring up this little graph and it's it says prices are currently typical for your trip and we wanna try and get them as close to the green as we can because we're always looking for the best flight deals. Yellow is typical and if you're paying in the red, that means you're typically paying a higher rate than normal for that price. So that's a great little tool for you to know if you're getting a good deal. But the what we're actually looking for is up here, there's writing in blue, it says track prices. And if I hover over the little information button here, it says, monitor the lowest price for this trip and receive price alerts and travel tips by email. So we're gonna to wanna to click on this little button here and toggle that on. And you can see down at the bottom, it says tracking prices, view all. Now this pop-up is gonna disappear in a moment. So after I've um, put a couple of searches in, we're gonna show you how to get to your prices that you are tracking. But that one is being tracked right now and it's gonna send an email for price changes to my Gmail address that I'm logged into right now. So let's go ahead and click on flights again, and we'll come up with a different flight this time to add to our list. Let's go Portland, Oregon, to let's say we're just gonna go to LAX this time, and we wanna do this in December, say the 10th to the 17th, done. And it's gonna bring up that flight search. And now again, we wanna add this to our tracking track prices, so go ahead and toggle that on. And again, tracking prices pops up at the bottom. You can click view all here to see those prices. But I'm gonna show you how to get into the area where you can see both of these prices. So in the top left-hand corner, there are three lines. You can go ahead and click on that. And right here in the middle, you're gonna see an option that says track flight prices. And this is gonna bring up those two searches that we just did. And you can see it's gathered data already for the the flight from the top one from Portland to Los Angeles. It's showing us different pricing and different dates um, in, from history. And it's probably accumulating the data still for my, Seattle to Miami. But there's a whole bunch of things you can do here. If you don't wanna receive notifications for a little while, you can just toggle them on and off with this little bell button. So if I click on the bell there, it goes white and it says price updates are off. Or you can turn that back on um, you can actually delete one of these. So if we don't actually, eh, we're not going to um, Los Angeles anymore from Portland, we can just go ahead and put that in the garbage can. So click the garbage can and it deletes that. And then the other option here, you can see in the bottom right, it says see all flights. And if we click on that, it's gonna bring you back out to all the flights that were under that search for that date. So you don't have to re keep researching them. You can just go back in to your um, price tra or tracking prices area and click on your searches. So it's a really handy nifty tool that Google Flights has put in there for you to try and find the lowest flights for your specific days. So I hope this video did help you out in finding the best deals on flights 
using Google Flights and tracking prices, getting emails, all that. If it did, make sure to smash that like button. Also remember to subscribe to Northern Biking Explorer because I've got tons of videos coming up that I would love to share with you. Thanks for watching and take care.